Welcome, everyone, to the fifth and final episode of the amazing Super Track of Speed Tournament. In today's episode, we will see some awesomely epic races and finally find out who will be the grand champion and take home the trophy. And then come along and join me on an adventure to find more cars for this channel. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, racing fans alike, I present to you to the fifth exciting episode of the Super Track of Speed, the Grand Championship Round. But first, let's go ahead and recap some of our qualifiers from past episodes. In the first episode, we had Lightning McQueen face off against some NASCAR racers. Let's go ahead and watch! And our racers are off at full speed ahead with Lightning McQueen quickly pulling into first position. Some contact with Chase Raceland on the exterior wall. A big battle takes place and oh no! There goes Chase Raceland over the exterior wall as he falls off the track. And then it seems like Karsten A. Stillen just pumps on the brakes there back at turn number one. Here comes the number 95 lining up for that jump and barely making it. Oh, and he almost skids out though as he crosses the finish line. Are there any other cars coming after Lightning McQueen? Yes, there is. It looks like it's William Byrev, but he just stops as he clears the jump. And with nine points, it's Lightning McQueen who is our winner, who will be moving forward to the final round. Congratulations. And moving on to our second set of cars, we have the Dynaco 400 racers. Let's get them lined up and ready to race. And straight out of the gate, it looks like they're starting off side by side, but Hall Ingas quickly puts that to an end. Some contact on the exterior wall by all of our racers as they enter that first turn. Here they come out of that turn. Oh my goodness, Hall Ingas almost falls off the track there, and it's followed by Dirksen D'Agostino who almost fell off the track as well. Here they come lining up for that jump, and Hall Ingas makes it. Oh my goodness, there goes Dirksen D'Agostino taking his chance to pass Hall Ingas, but no, it failed because the number 79 blocked him at the last second. Here we have Slider Petrolski and Dirksen D'Agostino and Manny Flywheel, but our winner is Paul Ingas with a total of 14 points. That puts him exactly one point in front of Manny Flywheel, but that still makes him our winner and the finalist for the Grand Championship round. Congratulations! And now, moving on to our third set of racers, we have the Tuner Cars. Now let's go ahead and watch a recap race of theirs so that way you can see exactly how exciting their action was. And our racers start off with pedal to the metal as Boost quickly pulls into first position, followed closely by DJ. Whoa, some big airtime by DJ, and oh no, DJ pushes into Wingo, who knocks him clean off the exterior wall off of the track. And now DJ's flipping over, he head over heels. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. It looks like Boost is lining up for that jump, and he clears it, and he spins out across this finish line. Whoa. Our standings after that race left Boost with 11 points, which makes him the clear victor of this race, which makes him eligible for the Grand Championship round. Congratulations! And also, from that same episode, we also had another race where Lightning McQueen was being chased by the tuner cars and he had to get back to Mac. Let's go ahead and rewatch that race. And here come our racers barreling down the track towards turn number one. DJ trying to outtake Lightning McQueen, but he just can't. The number 95 is too fast for him. Whoa, the McQueen going from side to side, and it looks like DJ overtakes him, trying to box him in. And no, DJ falls over off of the track. Boost now has a chance to catch up with him, and he knocks straight into the back side of Lightning McQueen. But the Rusty's racer makes the jump and makes it back to Mac. Now let's go ahead and review our last set of racers, the next gen cars. Let's have a recap of their race. And our racers are off at full speed ahead with Jay pulling into first position, followed by Empast Fong. Oh my goodness, a big crash there as Jay gets turned around sideways, and Paul Conrev goes for the pass and he makes it into first position, overtaking Jay. Here he comes lighting up for that jump and he clears it as he crosses the finish line. Here come our other racers, all single file, following after Paul can rev one by one across the finish line. We have Aaron Glocker, M. Fast Fong, Jay, and then our winner, Paul can rev, with a total of 13 points, which means that he is able to move forward from the qualifying round to the Grand Championship round. Congratulations! What a very exciting set of qualifying races that we just saw here today. But now, it's the moment that you've all been waiting for, the time the champion, the grand championship round between Lightning McQueen, Hall in Gas, Boost, and Paul Can Rev, who will be the victor and be triumphant to become the grand champion and win the trophy. Let's find out. And our 
racers are off at full speed ahead with them starting out mostly side by side. It looks like Boost was trying to get in the lead, but no, a big crash back there at turn number one. And all of our racers pump on the brakes. It looks like Paul can rev and Hall Ingasser are starting to push on the accelerator just a little bit as they round turn number two. They clear the jump, and oh my goodness, Paul can rev spins out, and something amazing just happened. We need to check out the second replay to watch that action again. Here come our racers coming up on turn number one. A big crash and contact back there as turns Boost sideways and knocks him off the track. Falconrev sliding out of turn number one gets knocked into by Hall in gas. And now they're starting to pump on the accelerator just a little bit as they smoothly take the second checkpoint. Here they come lining up for that jump and they land it. And then, oh my goodness, Falconrev spins out and Hall in gas overtakes him in the first position seconds before the finish line. Back here at turn number one, we have Boost and Lightning McQueen. And then down here by the finish line, we have Paul Rev, who did not cross it. And then over here across the finish line, who overtook Paul Rev, we have Paul Ingas, who is the winner of that first round. Here are our standings after that first race. We have Paul Ingas with four. Who will win? Paul Rev and Paul Ingas are in the front. And our racers are off with pedal to the metal as Paul Conrad pulls instantly into first position. And oh no, there goes Hall Ingas off of the side. And the big one happening on the straightaway there. It looks like Paul Conrad barely got away. He's keeping the foot on it as he turns around at turn number two. There he goes making the jump and he crosses the finish line. Oh my goodness, what a race that we just had. We need to watch the second replay to watch that action again. Here they come, coming up on turn number one, and oh no, it looks like Boost push Hall Ingas off, and they're all swerving off of turn number one. Whoa, big airtime with Paul Rev as he gets knocked from side to side, and somehow out of all that, he found an opening and went for it, and he found it. He took it. He's coming around turn number two. He's making the jump very beautifully there, and he is our clear winner of that race. Where is Hall Ingas? There he is, way in the corner over there. My goodness, I really do hope that he's okay. And then over here on the straightaway, we have Boost and Lightning McQueen who just stopped in each other's tracks. And then over here, across the finish line, we have the number 90, our bumper safe racer, Paul Kunrev. Here are the standings after that second race. In the back, we have Paul Kunrev and Boost. It's still anyone's race. And straight out of the gate, it looks like Hall Ingas is gunning for first position, followed shortly by Paul Kinrev, and whoa! Huge airtime there at turn number one, and the big one happening! Oh my goodness, I didn't even clearly see what happened. Let's check out the replay to watch it again. Here come our racers coming up on turn number one, and with their aerial camera, we can see Hall Ingas flying above the rest of the racers, causing a huge crash behind him, and then Paul Kinrev just knocks it out, pumping on the brakes, trying to figure out what just happened. And since we just had a gigantic crash, it looks like some of the officials have pulled out onto the track to close it down. That way we can get everyone situated again. So back there, we have three of our racers who passed turn number one. And then over here, we have Paul Kinrev who also passed turn number one. Here are our standings after that third race. And our racers are off at full speed ahead with Lightning McQueen starting to barely pull in the first position as they round that first turn. And whoa, huge contact at that first checkpoint, which flips the number 95 and 79 around backwards. They're both driving backwards now as they make that jump and they cross the finish line along with Boost who's following them in third position. Let's check out the next replay to watch that action one more time. Here come our racers coming up on turn number one. Whoa, big contact between the number 79 and the interior wall, which pushes him into Paul Kinrev and boosts it. Oh no, there goes Paul Kinrev off of the interior wall. Lightning McQueen and Hall Ingas doing some fancy footwork, which flips them around backwards. Now they're driving backwards as they all cross the finish line. And here comes Boost bringing up the rear. Back over here at turn number one, we have Paul Kinrev. And then down here at the finish line, we have Boost, Paul Ingus, and our winner of this round, Lightning McQueen. But will it be enough? Let's go ahead and check our standings after this fourth and final race. And it looks like it's Hall Ingus with a total of nine points is the winner of the Grand Championship round. He claims the title of Grand Champion and the trophy.
Congratulations to our second and third place racers as well. In second place we have Paul and Rev, and in third place we have Lightning McQueen. And then another big congratulations to all of the racers who participated in the qualifying races. And now, Hall and Gas can come up here onto the stage to join other champions from the past championship races. Congratulations once again! Did you think Hall and Gas was going to win? If you didn't, go ahead and let me know who you thought was going to. And now, come along and join me on an adventure as we look for more cars to add onto this channel. Up here I can see Jimmy Cables and Brian Sparks. And then down here I see M. Fast Fong, Lewis Hamilton, and JD McPillar. Going down even more, I see Blindspot, Corey Turbowitz, and Trainer Cruz Ramirez. And what looks like Muddy Rusty's Racing Center, Lightning McQueen, and Dash Boardman, and Hot Rod Luis Nash, Viewzine Racing Tractor, oh, I remember him, and then Pam Wieldero. And then up here, we have Robert Jam Jones. Now let's go ahead and move on to our next section in our adventure. And now moving right along over here, I see some Thunder Hollow Racers. I see Cruz Ramirez, Lightning McQueen, and Sigalert. And then moving right along down here, it looks like I see some cars that are part of a pit crew is what it looks like. Oh, it's the Tokyo Race Pit Crew. I see Sarge and Mater, all of Lightning McQueen's friends. And that will conclude our adventure. I really hope that you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and remember to share with your friends. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out other videos on this channel. And in the meantime, keep racing!